In today's video, we are going to build a rock solid 427 short block that's gonna see a 200 shot of nitrous and go into an off-road Bronco pre-runner. We have a ton of Dart SHP LS engine blocks finally in stock. And when I say a ton, I mean more than imaginable. So if you need a Dart LS block, give us a call. We have them in stock. It's not a problem. The lead times are getting cut down by the day. So for this build, this is going into off-road Bronco. It's gonna be a 427 LS pump gas deal, but we are gonna set it up to run a little bit of nitrous. This is Dart's SHP engine block. It has a six bolt cylinder head configuration, three galley oil system, splayed billet steel main caps, and is way overkill for what this guy is going to do. These blocks alone are probably good up to about 15 to 1600 horsepower. For the guts of this guy, we're gonna use our Smetting 1000 horsepower rotating assembly. It's gonna have our four inch 4340 stroke crankshaft. It's fully internal balanced with a 58X reluctor. We are also running our power adder 6.125 4340 forged H beam connecting rod. We're gonna run King tri-metal bearings throughout the motor and ARP 2000 rod bolts. The pistons are a 2618 forged JE flat top. We're gonna to have about 11 and a quarter to one compression. And like I said, the rings are gapped for a 200 shot. We're running 25 thou on the top ring and 28 thou on the second. The camshaft, we have our own camshafts in stock as well. This is our, one of our Smetting forged hydraulic roller camshaft. So a lot of cams, they're cut from a solid billet, whereas ours are actually forged into shape just like a crankshaft or connecting rod. The camshaft is then final ground to size while the metal is still soft, so we get a really accurate um, grind, and then it goes into heat treat. And that's why you can see some of that heat treat discoloration right on the surface. You can see it really good right here on the wheel for the reluctor. Because of that, the heat treat is on the surface of the camshaft. It has maximum penetration into the lobe and our lifters will have a solid steel surface to ride on that will never groove. A lot of other cam manufacturers get their cores already heat treated and then all they do is cut it to the shape they want. So they're cutting through that heat treat. Of course, we're gonna run our hydraulic roller link bar smetting lifter. These are fantastic. I have never had a single issue with these. I really recommend these for anybody running like a 660 dual spring, you know, a nice street strip hydraulic roller combo turning about 7,400 RPM. Anything above that, that we do have some upgrades available. Here's a good shot of those splayed dart billet steel main caps. They're a four bolt design, um, but they have larger hardware. They're billet steel and they're splayed outers. This is indefinitely stronger than the factory six bolt design. On a factory block, the fifth and sixth bolts that come into the side are eight millimeter. They're tiny. They do nothing for strength. They're actually there to help calm down engine harmonics. But for a strength application, this is way stronger. So I see a lot of people asking, why is a dart block not a six bolt? It's an upgrade. This is actually stronger. Of course, we're gonna run a Melling 10295 oil pump, the high pressure spring. And then we have a nice high performance timing set with a roller thrust bearing. So. Everything in this block, Shea has already prepped, gapped, bearing clearance, inspected, so it is 100% ready to go together.
crankshaft is now final installed. We are running about 2.7 thousandths of clearance on the mains and we have six thou of thrust clearance. So now that this guy is in place and in its final home, we are now going to install the pistons and connecting rods. Okay, there you guys go. That is how we assemble our 427 Power Adder LS short block. This block's pistons are five in the hole, so we'll get a set of custom Kometic head gaskets ordered for it. Once those come in, we can then finish building the top end and finish dressing it out the rest of the way. Big thanks to Shay for building this motor today. Everything went together super smooth as intended. Thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.